Hey Leo, it's Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your reading for July 2021. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading, you guys. Hmm. We're going to find out what is going on in your soul's path this month. What you should be aware of. What your spirit guides want you to know. Okay. All right. So, Leo, you have judgment that's coming in, followed um, by Pluto. Okay. So, a lot of power. I'm seeing um, rebirth and transformation is happening in your life here. Your card is saying here, in the moment of truth, call upon the forces of spirit and mind to make the correct decisions. So with this judgment energy coming in here, there's an important decision that will um, arise here in the month of July that you have to um, face. That's the word they're giving me. Face or address here, okay? You're going to be making a, an important choice um and we're gonna find out about what this choice is but from what i'm feeling on this card here leo i feel like you're definitely leaving possibly a dark time and you're moving into a period where there's a lot of clarity uh acceptance and truth um in a situation okay i feel like this is the end of you Spending a lot of time in confusion and uncertainty, possibly fear, worry, depression, or anxiety that you guys may be faced with here, okay? Your spirit team is letting me know there is a lot of relief coming your way. For some of you Leos here, you're going to be going through a period of awakening here of truth as well. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, this could be in regards to a relationship, a career, okay? Or a personal choice that you have to make in your life. That will be life-changing here. Like a decision you're going to make here that will ultimately change the course of your path. So how do you look this month? How will these choices look? <laughs> you got the seven of cups. That's showing up, okay? You're going to have a lot of options. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. A lot of options to choose from. Um, I feel like you'll be choosing whether or not you're going to put your focus into money, um, your creative side, um, whether you're going to take control of over a situation. I feel like a lot of you guys will be focused on healing, possibly, and accepting uh, truths that's being told, and also speaking your truth here with the Seven of Cups, all right? You'll be doing this in stages, okay, in various settings, uh, relationships, and connections here, okay? But I feel like your spirit team um, is guiding you right now. This purple that I'm seeing here lets me know that there's some spiritual aspect here of um, of the decisions that you're making, but you're doing it in a very loving way with Venus here in Scorpio. Um, you're showing a lot of love towards others, whether you are moving forward with them or you are separating away from them. Some of you guys are stepping, stepping away with love, though, okay? Uh, to really focus on yourself and get back to your creative side, get back to loving yourself, caring for yourself. Um, I do see a lot of psychic abilities for some of you guys and a lot of epiphanies or visions that you will have here in the month of July. So pay attention to your dreams. That's what the Seven of Cups is letting me know here. Okay, this is how this will look and feel. Uh, these decisions that you have to make here in the month of July, right? So at the end of July, you're going to find yourself in a lot of solitude, silence, 
here with the hermit energy coming in it may feel lonely at first but I feel like you learn to connect with yourself on a very intimate level. You're learning about what you need here um, and really connecting with your higher self here. OK, some of you guys will have the desire to withdraw and for focus on learning. Um, that's what the Hermit card really means coming in here. OK, so this by the end of July, you're going to be really focused on uh, spiritual spiritually evolving here hmm. <laughs> i see spell work here in the uh window here um some of you guys are interested in planting growing okay um in a physical way like in a real way with plants <laughs> but i see that your spirit is also growing as well through this hermit energy here okay hmm Let's see here. In a way, I feel like you're doing this. The card here says Mercury here, okay? Let me move back because they're telling me something about your siblings. Some of your siblings may pick up on this energy that you are emotionally withdrawn i have to tell you that some of your siblings will be very concerned about this emotional withdrawal that you have stepped into here okay so know that you have a lot of people uh wanting to support you emotionally here in the month of july and it may be siblings family members people that you are close with here okay that you call your family but they're not blood family but they're like your family okay that's something else that i'm feeling here um make sure you keep a line of communication open to these individuals just to uh bring their heart comfort to know that you are okay here you're just stepping away to uh really make critical decisions for yourself during this month it's just totally okay okay so I'm seeing here um, how others will see you, okay, as you move through this life purpose, okay, and try to reach your your um, your ultimate life purpose here, okay. They see you making changes in your life with the Six of Wands, but they know how strong you are, Leo. You have Jupiter and Leo showing up in this card here okay so they know that um you will be successful they feel like you are just taking time out for yourself others see you um as someone that has gone through a lot of trials and tribulations possibly and struggles here okay um but they also see you overcoming those struggles and making plans for the future uh, to succeed here, okay? And you will be successful. If you're wondering if you're on the right path right now, I feel like you are with the Six of Wands coming out and how others see you. Um, I feel like this is a period possibly of rebirth for you guys. And a lot of people will see a new you on the other side, okay? When you're finished working on yourself, when you come out of this hermit mode, they see you glowing, see you um, as an evolved being here, spirit, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. So let's take a look further and see what other messages your spirit wants you to know. What other steps can Leo take to reach their purpose, their life purpose on this path? So I want you, I think I, I posted something about this in my community section you speaking positively towards yourself um and over your life and your situation here so the inner critique that's what you have coming in here this card asks you to transform your inner critique and how you speak to yourself okay 
um, and take a realistic appraisal and constructive feedback of how you speak to yourself, okay? They want you to also step into the very best version of yourself um, and know that uh, ongoing negative criticism wears you down here. Some people will say that they are their own worst enemy. I feel that energy quite often myself, okay? Uh, but it only erodes our confidence and our beliefs and our abilities here, okay? And a lot of you guys, after you're done with this hermit mode, you will be in a serious uh, energy of manifestation and manifesting in this uh, physical world here. So you want to keep yourself very positive uh, and speak positively over your life here. That's what your spirit team wants you to know. They also want you to work on restoring balance in your life. This card calls you to notice what kinds of situations, people, and circumstances throw you off balance. Um, and more importantly, what enables you to regain balance and recenter yourself. So noticing this heightens your awareness um, and creates an opportunity for you to uh, be Become proactive in maintaining your ongoing balance and inner harmony. It puts the ball back in your court to make critical decisions on whether or not you want to uh, continue to deal with a, a certain person, place, or thing. Okay, It's almost giving you back your power and control uh, through the Seven of Cups energy, giving you that choice on whether or not you want to hold on to something or allow something to leave, okay, or slip away, okay? So you have internal dialogue coming in here. Your spirit team is saying we have an internal dialogue within our mind, a constant stream of inner conversations, don't we? <laughs> they want to know if your dialogue is kind, supportive, and affirming. Or is it critical and judgmental or both? Okay, this card asks you to listen to your inner words and if necessary, take steps to consciously change your language, your inner dialogue, how you talk to yourself. It's uh, interesting they have this energy twice coming in for you. Let's pull your last message here, Leo. What final message do you have here for the uh, in July? Okay, Leo. They're saying become the elixir. Let your glow do the heavy lifting. Let's see what your spirit team wants you to know further about this card. Let your glow do the heavy lifting. Here. All right, love. So the book is saying you've had life altering experiences, learned libraries worth of knowledge and are now ready. OK, um, to move forward here. OK, wealthy, but you have inner riches. Basically, that's what they're saying spiritually and otherwise um, it probably feels selfish to keep all this life affirming wisdom to yourself if you could through osmosis you could transmit the contents of your journey every experience trial and reward to every person you meet you can do this and yet if you share when uninvited your gifts will fall upon deaf ears they want you to honor the wisdom you've earned and learned while honoring the people in your circle of life by remembering that you are the elixir. Ooh, <laughs> you are the elixir. Without having to say a word or do a single thing, you are the medicine, blessing, and presence that soothes the heart, minds, and souls of all you meet. You are steeped in the elixir that you do the work simply by being, beaming and showing up here. So you lead by example. You don't have to even say anything here, okay? People feel your energy here, Leo. That's what your spirit team is putting on you here through this reading. They're also giving you a positive mantra to repeat, and I'm gonna tell you what that mantra is. 
is saying here, the elixir encoded within me is now being contagiously transmuted. Here, repeat that mantra um, throughout this week or whenever you feel like you need a pick-me-up. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling, okay? Whenever you're doubting your abilities um, or feeling down, know that you are the elixir for others, okay? All right, Leos, that is your reading, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, loves. I will be back with you guys with another video. See you guys later. Bye.